Hello, second graders. How is everyone doing today? Today, we are going to be talking about plants, what they need for survival, which means what they need to live and grow, and the different plant parts. Can anyone think of one thing that a plant needs to survive? If you guessed water or sunlight, you are correct. Plants, like all living organisms, have basic needs. What do plants need? These five basic needs are number one, water, number two, sunlight, number three, nutrients, number four, air, and number five, space. So here we have nutrients. Nutrients is also known as the plant's food, which helps nourish the plant. Plants also need air in order to grow and reproduce. Plants need space, all living Things and organisms need space to live. A plant's roots need space so that they can spread out and absorb water and nutrients. Its leaves need space so that they can access light. And when plants grow too close together, um, they have to compete for these resources. So it's better that they have space. And lastly, we have water. Water moves the nutrients for, um, from the soil into the plant. And water plays an important role in photosynthesis. And what is photosynthesis? Photosynthesis is the process in which green plants use sunlight to make their own food. So interesting. So the basic needs of the plant are light, water. Um, excuse me. Let's do light, air, water, nutrients, and space which makes the acronym, it's L-A-W-N-S, which is lawns, which is an easier way to remember that of how plants grow, the steps of how plants grow. I included a short video clip of the different stages of plants so you can see how it develops from a seed to a plant. It's pretty cool and interesting to see the whole process. All right, so as you can see from the video, it's so fascinating to see the process of how the seed forms and becomes a full plant. Um, I went a little further or longer than I wanted to just because it's so interesting the different um, types of or the ways that seeds and plants grow. And as you, I don't know if you remember the little tomato cutting that they just put in the dirt and covered it and watered it and then it became a plant. It's pretty awesome.
Oops, excuse me. Let's go to the next slide. So now we are going to be talking about the different parts of a flower. The different parts are the roots right here, the stem, the leaves, and the flower. And then I also included seeds because that's going to be a vocabulary term that we're going to be um, going over. So the roots is right here, like I just said, and that part supports the plant and absorbs the water and nutrients from the soil. The stem right here supports the leaves and helps conduct water and minerals um, to the leaves. So the stem goes up and helps conduct minerals um, into the leaves. And then we have um, the leaves which absorb light and produce um, food for the plant from the process of photosynthesis like that we talked about earlier. And lastly, the flower, which its main function is for reproduction to produce more flowers. And lastly, I included seeds, which I put a little picture here. And seeds produce new plants by the seed sprouting and developing into a new plant. Um, some questions to think about are what do you think would happen if a plant did not have access to sunlight, water, nutrients, space, or air? And lastly, I just included a little plant life cycle, which include the needs, air, so, uh, nutrients, space, um, sunlight, water, and then the life cycle starts off as a seed, and then it sprouts, and then it becomes a seedling once little roots and leaves start popping out, and then lastly, it grows into a flower. And this is the life cycle and just keep in mind because we are going to be planting our own seeds and watching the process. So this is going to be awesome that you will get to see in real life happen. Hope you enjoyed our little video about plants, how they grow, what they need to grow and live, um, different plant parts and a little life cycle of the plant. Thank you.